my students so in this video we are going to discuss about edible vaccines so complete information about edible vaccines will be provided in this video so please watch this video till the end and here i am going to explain to you about the introduction of this edible vaccines the benefits and how the mass production of the edible vaccines will be done and how the laboratory procedure will be performed to produce this edible vaccines each and everything will be discussed now so edible vaccines these are engineered vaccines that refers to any foods typically plants that produces vitamins proteins and develop the immune system to defend the pathogens so we know that uh, our immune system contains such a certain type of antibodies which helps to kill certain type of pathogens which enter from the external environment to your body right so immune system is highly necessary so basically these vaccines will be of uh, many types so in that one is called as traditional vaccine where we all of us know that so the traditional vaccine will be given to our body through injections right so but in this case of this edible vaccines they are produced by engineering i mean they are produced in the laboratories such that these vaccines will be provided in the form of food that will be intaked into your body through oral pathway through oral pathway oral pathway in the sense you are going to take this edible vaccines through mouth so once you take it through mouth then uh, it undergoes a process of mastication so once it undergoes a process of mastication then it produces vitamins proteins so these vitamins and proteins are the you know certain type of uh, certain type of nutrients which develop the immune system so once it develop the immune system then certain type of pathogen can be killed right so how these edible vaccines are produced actually each and everything will be discussed so the vaccines that can, that one can eat are called as edible vaccines in simple way you can define like this the vaccines that one can eat are called as edible vaccines so i think you people may heard this first time right so because we know that the vaccines will be injected into your body through injections so this is the only one thing which you people know but not here because these vaccines can also be entered into your body through eating i mean you can eat in the form of food so that particular vaccines are called as edible vaccines so how you are going to prepare that particular type of food let us see so these vaccines are currently being developed for a number of human and animal diseases including measles cholera hepatitis b and hepatitis c right so this is just about the introduction about edible vaccines i think you people may surprised that how these vaccines can be eat it can be eaten right so uh, i am going to clear your doubt so before that let us see the benefits of the edible vaccines edible vaccines are totally different from traditional vaccines that's what i have said you right traditional vaccines are nothing but the vaccines this will also will develop your immune system but this will be given through your body uh, into your body through injections but this edible vaccines will not be given to your body through injections because it will be taken through mouth in the form of food right so it is totally different that's what we have mentioned here edible vaccines are totally different from traditional vaccines so what are the benefits of this edible vaccines it is easy to produce it is easy to purify sterilize and distribute and even the manufacturing of this edible vaccines uh, doesn't require any special equipments but in the case of this traditional vaccines special equipments like fermentation tank is used uh, to produce in a, to produce that particular type of vaccine into mass production right so but here uh, there is no special equipments which are required for mass production during manufacturing process the only thing which you need is soil farmers water sunlight so these are the natural uh, things which we need that's it there is no special equipments which are required and these traditional vaccines are easier and less expensive for storage so uh, in the case of this normal vaccines i mean this traditional vaccines certain type of refrigerators at, at proper room temperature each and everything should be maintained at laboratory but here there is no need of there is no need of spending much amount for the storage because there is no refrigerators and certain type of things are not at all required for the storage of this edible vaccines right and these edible vaccines offers potential health benefits than traditional vaccines than the normal vaccines this edible vaccines can produce high health benefits and there will be no fear for injections because uh, if you see in the case of small people not only small people even even aged people also will get feared uh, by taking these injections right so uh, there will be no fear for these injections because this type of vaccines will be taken through mouth and there will be no need for medical personals in the case of injections you need to go to the clinic and you have to spend some certain type of certain amount of money and then once you uh, prefer such uh, prefer such type of clinics then you need to spend certain type of certain amount of money right but here uh, there is no medical personals are required because you are going to take through mouth right so there will be no more side effects which can be seen uh, if you are taking this edible vaccines through your mouth in the form of food so enough 
So now we are going to discuss how the edible vaccines are produced. Development of edible vaccines. So there actually there will be two methods. First one is agrobacterium tumefaciens method and gene gun method. But most of the laboratories will use agrobacterium tumefaciens method only. Okay. So what is this agrobacterium tumefaciens? It is a soil bacterium where we all of us know that. So here a little bit R D N A technology method will be used. So what is that R D N A technology? Each and everything. Every information about R D N A technology has been already provided you in previous videos. The link will be provided in the description box below. So coming to this, uh, you know what this edible vaccine? How the edible vaccines are produced? So here, what you are going to do? Here we are going to take two things. One is gene of interest. So this, what is this gene of interest? This gene of interest is nothing but the particular uh, D N A which is required to cure that disease which caused in the human being, right? So that disease should be cured, and how it can be cured? By injecting certain type of gene which is opposite to it, such that what will happen? This gene will help to kill that particular type of disease which entered into your body from the external environment. So that is what the power of the immune system, right? So that particular gene of interest will be taken, right? And now on the other hand, what you are going to do? You are going to take the agrobacterium cell, which is a bacterium cell. Okay, it is a soil bacterium as I have said you, and it is a agrobacterium cell. So now we know that this agrobacterium cell contains plasmid DNA right and now we are going to extract this plasmid DNA from this agrobacterium cell and that is called as a vector right and now what you are going to do and now we are going to add the restriction endonuclease enzyme to this vector this enzyme this restriction endonuclease enzyme will cut the particular DNA into fragment so here the fragment has been removed out right so that fragment of the DNA will be cut at particular site called as restriction site so this restriction endonuclease enzyme will recognize that particular site called as restriction site and it removes the fragment so now this is called as a vector which is called as also called as a host vector and now you are going to insert this particular gene of interest into this uh, into this vector and now this whole gene is called as recombinant gene it is a modified gene okay and this process will be done with the help of an enzyme called as dna ligase i mean this gene of interest will be attached to this vector with the help with the help of an enzyme called as dna ligase fine and now this recombinant gene will be inserted back into the recombinant agrobacterium cell i mean uh, into the agrobacterium cell itself so if you see here uh, this is agrobacterium cell where we have removed this vector i mean this plasmid vector now this place will be empty now we are going to use the same agrobacterium cell and you are going to insert that recombinant gene into the same agrobacterium cell and now this gene this uh, particular bacterium cell is called as recombinant agrobacterium cell so why it is called as recombinant because it has been modified because we are going to insert the recombinant gene over to this agrobacterium cell hence this is called as recombinant agrobacterium cell so now this recombinant agrobacterium cell plays a major and vital role for the production of the edible vaccine so if you keep this aside on the other hand you are going to perform another experiment so let's see firstly what you are going to do is that you are going to select a particular leaf which is uh, which, which depends upon your choice actually so you can take potato leaf or else any other leaves like banana leaves or as tomato leaves it depends upon your interest so here we are going to take a potato leaf normally for example case i am saying about so here normally potato leaf will be taken out and it will be sent into the lab, lab laboratory and then they will cut this potato leaf they will chop this potato leaf into the uh, into the pieces and then they will be taken into a petri plate like this it will be taken into a petri plate so once they are taken into the petri plate then what you are going to do now you are going to add this recombinant agrobacterium cell which has been previously prepared right so firstly we have prepared this agrobacterium cell right i mean this recombinant agrobacterium cell right and that will be added that will be added into this petri plate make sure we know that the recombinant agrobacterium cell contains the gene of interest which is responsible to kill the pathogen which has been uh, to, to kill the disease which has been uh, formed in your body right so that particular gene of interest is present in this agrobacterium cell which is also called as recombinant agrobacterium cell and that will be added into this petri plate which contains this plant cells okay which contains this plant cells so now what now we are what you are going to do is that you are uh, here the particular process will be done so if you zoom this properly then you can understand what is the process which will be done in this petri plate so here what will happen you know here this particular gene of interest is present in this recombinant agrobacterium cell is there right and that will enter into the into the cytoplasm into the cytoplasm of the plant cell 
right into the cytoplasm of the plant cell and finally it also enters into the gene of the plant cell even the plant cell contains the genetic material right it will get interacted to this genetic material which is present in the plant cell right and now here you are going to perform the screening method so actually the screening will be of two types primary screening and secondary screening so uh, there is a brief explanation which i have to give you about the screening so i am going to do it in another video so just to know about the small thing about this uh, in the screening actually screening is a process where for example if you see here oh, here only one agrobacterium cell has been present so here we don't know which cell it will get binded to so that particular cell can be recognized by this screening method right so that particular cell only one particular cell will be recognized because only one agrobacterium cell has been added so only one plant cell will be recognized by this screening method and make sure this plant cell is modified so how you can say this is modified because it contains gene of interest which has been entered from the recombinant agrobacterium cell right so now this is called as modified plant cell which contains gene of interest and now we are going to take another petri plate not this one you can throw it this you can now you are going to take another petri plate new petri plate and to this new petri plate you are going to add antibiotic medium right it, it acts like a nutrient medium we are going to add this antibiotic medium this yellow color one okay and now to this antibiotic medium you are going to place this plant cell which has been modified which contains the gene of interest right and now what will happen after few days like two to three days or four to five days what will happen this plant cell will utilize this whole antibiotic medium which is present in this petri plate and then it will get converted into callus right so mass division will be done mass cell division will be done it such that it will get converted into callus right into callus so now with this callus you are going to perform the plant tissue culture technique so many and many more videos i have already I have already uploaded in the YouTube regarding this plant tissue culture. So the link will be provided in the description box. So if you want to learn more about the plant tissue culture, you can learn it. So by performing this plant tissue culture technique, what will happen? Then the shoot, I mean the, in the name itself indicates plant tissue culture. Tissues, what are the tissues which are present in the plant? Root system as well as the shoot system. So the root system will be developed and the shoot system will also be developed. And now this particular plantlet will be transferred into the pot into the pot so now this is called as engineered potato plant so why it is called as engineered potato plant because it has been modified with the gene of interest which has been added during the experiment right so now this is called as a potato plant which has been engineered and it contains gene of interest which ha which is responsible to kill the pathogen right so because uh, here the plant cell which we have taken is nothing but the gene of interest and that will be developed into a plant by performing this plant tissue culture technique and hence it is called as engineered potato plant and now this engineered potato plant will be transferred into the soil i mean in the proper farm field then what will happen it will get completely developed into a plant and certain type of potatoes will be developed because it is an under rooting system where we all of us know that so potatoes will be developed in the root in the in the roots itself right and now these potatoes are called as vaccine potatoes right it called as vaccine potatoes so this so, so these potatoes once they are taken through mouth in the form of food that's what right edible vaccines are nothing but these are the vaccines which will be taken in the form of food or called as edible vaccines so these potatoes will be taken in the form of food in the in the form of diet into your body such that our body will develop the immune system with the help of this vaccine potatoes because it contains certain type of proteins which help to kill the particular pathogen which enter into your body right so if you are suffered with this hepatitis b then uh, the particular gene of interest you have to select to kill the pathogens of hepatitis b such that the particular vaccine potato will be developed which uh, which help to kill this uh, hepatitis b uh, pathogens such that the hepatitis b will be cured right so these vaccine potatoes will be developed so not only the potatoes you can also develop tomatoes bananas so there are different type of vegetables which you can choose right so here in this way the vaccines uh, vaccine can be also produced in the form of food so here this mass if you want to do this mass production then this particular potatoes which has been uh, which has been developed in the laboratory will be sent into the farm fields then what happens in the farmers will cultivate all of these potatoes in their farm fields so that uh, there will be increase in the production mass production bulk production can be done and then it can be supplied through worldwide so in this way the edible vaccine potatoes can be produced not only the potatoes even uh, any other uh, food item which you need can be easily produced by this engineering method so in this way edible vaccines can be easily produced right here you are not going to use any injections 
here you are not going to use certain type of injection so that here you are going to administrate this vaccine through mouth in the form of this food right hence they are called as edible vaccines so now you might understood the concept of this edible vaccines and if you like this video you can subscribe to subscribe to my channel and also press the bell icon for the latest updates thank you